Okay, so today I want to fix a problem. I have some turntables and they're in my living room which I share with a kitchen. So there's these grease deposits. Let me try to focus on those. There's these grease deposits that land on my turntables which are just very disgusting. And can we see this? yeah and it's just really not good for playing vinyls because you don't want grease on your vinyls so i looked up covers for these turntables on amazon and they are 54 euros and 90 cents for one which is just bullshit plus since i have a 3d printer i think i can come up with something much more fun so, my idea is to create little pieces like this that I can place on the side of the turntable around here and connect them with little snap mechanisms that I've experimented with before. So, it's kind of these little pieces and they just like snap into each other like this so I have these modules on the side I connect them with these little snap mechanism and then it creates a sort of box like this that I can then wrap with saran wrap and cut the inside and then just put them over my turntables to protect them so I'll look into the details of dimensions and stuff when I turn on the CAD software but for now this is my idea and this is what I'm gonna try to do today so let's get going all right so this is the part that I've designed on the bottom we have some sort of a ledge so that's where the part is going to sit on the turntable and then here we have these sockets uh, that's where the snap mechanism is gonna come in Okay, so this is the snap part, um, and I have two of these, a long one and a short one, and then this is the insert part. Alright, I didn't film a time lapse of my 3D printer, so here's some stock footage of just that. One eternity later. Okay, so I'm done printing all the parts for the first cover. Uh, I will first see how they all fit together and if it works out, I'll print the second one. Um, so far I've had a problem with this little um, side module, which just broke off when I was testing the size of the snap um, parts. Um, so I'm printing another one right now. And the second problem, which is more annoying, is that these long um, center shafts um, don't have a consistent size. Um, and I think this is because they're quite long and using the entire um, build plates of my 3D printer. Um, and I think it's not properly calibrated, so it's slightly uh, concave. Um, so the extremity is slightly um, smaller than expected so because of that I'm gonna have to sand down um, these parts that I slide in so that they won't break off the plastic so let's get going Cool. All right, so I just finished assembling the case or the skeleton at least. So let's see if it fits. Cool. 
if it's very snug. Actually, it's quite nice. Yeah. <clears throat> cool. Alright, so now that we have the skeleton, I'm going to uh, wrap it in saran wrap to make it protective. So in this step, we just need some saran wrap, a uh, cutter, and a hot glue gun. Alright, let's go. So there we go. Um, obviously this is not waterproof, but the goal is only that it's protected from dust and grease and I don't think it would get through that. So this is V1. There's a lot of room for improvement, but pretty happy so far. Alrighty, so here we are a few days later and I got to printing um, the second case. So the main difference is that I redesigned uh, these parts so they can be uh, thinner um, than the previous one. So this is the old one is uh, 10 millimeters and this one is seven millimeters. So like this, we can use less plastic and print faster, but still keep the kind of uh, structural uh, integrity. Um, so that's the first major difference. And then the second difference is that I used a different technique to wrapping for wrapping the saran wrap around. Instead of trying to wrap the whole thing and then cut the inside, I just laid um, two sheets of saran wrap flat on the floor and then just kind of folded them over. So this gave like a much more um, um, smooth, much cleaner finish, which I much prefer compared to the first one. Alrighty, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I'll be uploading the um, 3D files and um, a description of the build process on Thingiverse. Uh, I'll have the link below. Um, if you like this video, you know what to do and I'll see you next time. All right. See ya